As Alfred Anderson, who lives in Ayleth, arrived at the hotel to celebrate the great day, he was met by the pipes and drums of the 1st Battalion of the Black Watch, who are on a recruiting drive in the area. They staged a special display for the centenarian, complete with Highland dancing. Then, to the strains of Happy Birthday, he was presented with a cake decorated with Boots, Glengarry and Sergeant Stripes, and the names of the World War I battles he fought in. The sprightly former soldier who has three daughters, two sons, 20 grandchildren and 16 great-grandchildren then headed for a party with family and friends. But before going, he had this message for any young man who wanted to live to his ripe old age. We oh, just joined the Black Watch. <laughs> Led by the regiment's pipes and drums, almost 100 members of the Black Watch 1st Battalion marched to Burke Hall near Balatow. Watched by around 50 guests, the ceremony was a repeat of one held almost 60 years ago to the day when the Queen Mother first presented new colours to the regiment. This was the first time the ceremony had ever taken place at her Deeside holiday residence, an imposing three-storey whitewash building on the south side of the River Dee. The old colours, which had been handed over in Colchester in 1975, were marched off to the strains of Auld Lang Syne. The Queen Mother told the ranks she was sure they would look after the new colours with courage and devotion. The 96-year-old who's been suffering from a mild chest complaint is the regiment's Colonel-in-Chief, a post she's held since before the Second World War. After a ceremony lasting around half an hour, the new colours were piped off by the battalion, which is currently stationed at Fort George near Inverness. When folks at home were gone to church, a Sunday that July, gallant lads of Pershire's own prepared to do or die. At ten past six that Sunday night, the gallant band went o'er, some fated to meet cushy wounds, and some to return no more. They quietly strode towards the lines against their dastard foe, when bullets was right in their midst and bade them all lie low. Then up again, and at them, boys, the order it was given, and forward moved the gallant band, their grit and pluck was proven. Who rain brave captain, he did fall, and lots of pals as well, but whene'er we meet the Huns again, we'll fairly give them hell. We lost a lot of chums that night, in the gallant sixth advance, but we'll ne'er forget our heroes that lie of sleep in France. But never mind, lads, now we're here. We're going to do our best. And if we can again today, we'll lie beside the rest.